<clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? It's Will here from JGJW Games, and today we are in Scrap Mechanic. So, <clears throat> I've seen a few tutorials out there, and I wanted to put up one of my own. It's something that I've uh, that I've built a couple of times, uh, that I really uh, enjoy building. I really like the look of, and I really like the way it turns out. So, we're going to be making a drivable um, scissor lift. Uh, for when you're building something that is uh, is tall and you need to get around to the top of it. So uh, here we go. Let's let's get started. First thing I want to do, place your lift. I'm going to make the bottom out of... I'm actually going to switch that to metal. It's not metal, it's concrete or something like that. So I'm going to make the bottom out of uh, this metal. And I'm just going to make a big open slab. I want to make the bottom out of metal because I've come to find that if you don't, um, the thing can become very top heavy, and I'm actually going to make the top out of wood, which is unusual too. Um, it won't be as aesthetic, but it'll work better. So this, actually, yeah, um, these are the, uh, th this, these two pieces are usually how I gauge how big I need to make this thing. So, now I've got those two, I'm going to trim the fat. I guess since I'm making it, if I make the top out of wood, which I may go back on that, if I make the top out of wood, then I guess I don't need to, um, I guess I don't need to, uh, <clears throat> use these, and I could, I could change the size, but this has been my go-by every time I've made it so far. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, um, bah, 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 put this on a new lift so that it's centered. Uh, let's lower it. I can get rid of these now that I have my dimensions and um, first thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and slap a couple bearings we'll build it as though this side is the back <clears throat> slap a couple bearings on here a couple of wheels actually is that how I've done it before I'm gonna find out I think that's right I don't remember if I had to put feet on it I probably did um, actually you know what let's do that because this thing turns real shallow so I want to make sure that um, <clears throat> that oh, pardon me one second <laughs> so anyway <clears throat> I want to put uh, I want it to have all wheel all wheel steering so we're gonna do that I'm gonna put these on the underside um, let's grab I like to use these pipes these elbows for things like this I think they look better and um, I think they work better too actually so we're gonna put one there. Uh, let's turn it around, put one here, and try to do this quickly, one here, and let's move it there. Okay, so, I'm trying to make sure that these things can actually turn all the way around the way they need to, and I think they'll be able to, so we'll just go for it. Um, let's put another bearing up on each one of these. Do -do -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Um, a wheel on each one. Do wheel, 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 wheel. I like to do is uh, take a chunk uh, right here in the middle, and um, ba -ba 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 -ba. actually, let's go ahead and put. I'm not going to put a gas motor in it. I'm going to put a uh, electric one. I don't know. It just feels appropriate. Gas motor probably could work, but. These things have gas motors. Um, is that the wrong way? Yeah, let's put it like. There we go. Ah, what have I done? Um, <laughs> do that. Go back. And I want it to be down like that. Did I put wood there? I'm a genius. I should. Well, yeah. I should probably just take wood out of the thing. I think I'm gonna end up uh, making it out of uh, making the top out of the normal materials. I would make it out of to make it look good. Aesthetics are important. So now I need a spot for a controller. Let's drop that in there. Looks good. And I think that's everything I need. Um, I'm gonna put the switches. Uh, I do need. I'm gonna need two switches eventually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and place one of them. There you have all, all four wheels. I'll swap out my wheel. Turn that like that. I think that's gonna be. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's fine. So before I said this side was going to be the back, over here, I think I'm going to make this side the back over here, and we'll roll with that. <clears throat> okay, so, I 
think at this point I want to go ahead and take off the lift um, because unfortunately it won't let you do anything with anything um, so long as I'm going to take these out so long as the uh, uh, lift is in place I can't manipulate it the way that I need to <clears throat> and so I'm going to take the lift out because switches don't work that's what I'm trying to say switches don't work while the lift is in place um, okay <clears throat> I'm, I'm moving those so that these can have a further turn radius because if I have those blocks in place they'll get in the way of the wheel in fact this might actually get in the way of the wheel so I may end up replacing that too we'll see so far I'm gonna, or for now I'm going to leave it okay <clears throat> now for the fun part this is what you gotta do so one of these is going to go over the middle and I believe that it needs to sit okay yes yes this is right so <clears throat> I'm going to make there's going to be three hydraulics if you will in the middle they don't actually work that way but uh, that's what we're going to call them um, so two of them start on one end one of them starts on the other the one that starts on the single side is going to go straight down the middle so I'm going to need this whole area for it so it's going to connect there in fact I can go ahead slap a bearing on there and yeah. so that's how that one's going to go these and it's one block in from the end so same over here one block in from the end these go outward like that and again a bearing and a bearing and more elbows. Do this and eh, there it goes. <clears throat> Shoot it I'm gonna go ahead and get my hydraulic pieces, if you will. Um, where's my other one? Oh, this. This is what I want. What I want to replace. Let's replace my jack. I'm gonna need it for a while. So what I'll usually do is come to. One, two, one, two, we can go ahead and do that here too. One, two, and then we're gonna go switch to this and go one, two, and one, and two. Oh, not very good. One, two. Okay. Now I need more elbows. So I go, and I think these go outward. Like that, like that. And this one doubles back around like that. Perfect. Perfect, and we need more bearings, so we're going to get a bearing there, uh, da -da 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 -da, there, and there. Um, more elbows, back to the elbows, so that's what I want. Uh, nope, there. Let's do this one, like that. <clears throat> now, back to the hydraulics, or pseudo hydraulics, if you if you will, and we're gonna bring this all the way back. Same with this guy, all the way back over here. Uh, I need to do it one more time for the middle. We're about ready to wire everything up once I get these <clears throat> in place. So bring that all the way back, perfect. And then I need elbows with these bullies. I'll do an elbow. Oh yes, you can. Stuck. <clears throat> Come around here. And bearings. Bearing, bearing, bearing. Um, shoot. What I usually do is extend this out to where it matches up with this pipe. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that because I like that better. Um, where's my normal, normal ass pipe, please? Let's do this and this. And then we'll do a bearing. Now I can go ahead and start getting things wired up if I want, and I may just do that. Um, yeah, let's talk about wiring. Let's do some wiring here. There we go. This tool. So <clears throat> the easiest way to do this, and I've done it a couple times. That's how I know, is to uh, wire up the ends that are uh, mounted to the top and bottom frame first, and then the ones in between. So, for example, this end these two bearings right here are mounted to the lower frame. Uh, this bearing on the outside here is going to be mounted to the upper frame. Um, over here this one's lower, this one's upper. Um, in other words, not the ones in between. So not this one, since it's in between two hydraulics, not these two. Um, or at least save those for last. 
It just, um, it helps with keeping your numbers in order. So I'll go ahead, I can get, yeah. Oh, if I can see it better. There we go. All four of these. And then the one, two over here. Excellent. Okay. The other thing is that they're all going to go the same direction, at least per side. So I know that this lift, has, this pipe right here, needs to angle up. And I want that to be in the positive direction, because that's I prefer that. So I do it that way. Um, this one I'll need to switch to, so that one's going to have the same direction on it. Um, over here, uh, da, 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 da. let's get a good look. I want that. That's the direction I want. So this one already matches it. That one already matches it. This left is, uh, or positive is uh, clockwise. And I want that one to have positive clockwise also. And then I'm going to connect the inside ones, or the yeah, inside, sure. That works. <clears throat> And uh, I think these match, these will match their sides. So that one's backwards. That one is counter, counterclockwise. That's correct. I think all these need to be clockwise, and that one already is. <clears throat> so, all right. Almost there. Now let's go ahead and connect. So now, can I get to that? Well, let me get in between those. I might have to put this back on the lift briefly. Ah, uh, oh, man. And I freaking deleted my lift. Or removed it from my immediate inventory. So let's go get a lift. Get a lift. Um, for now, I'll replace this guy. Because I think I'm done with my hydraulics. And we'll just put it close to me so it's right there. Alright. <clears throat> so. Trick is uh, 1 through 6. Numbers 1 through 6 because of the order we connected them in. Will always be, as part of my phone, will always be um, half of whatever numbers seven through nine are. And the higher you make these numbers, the higher the lift goes. So uh, I think the furthest you can make it, um, I don't, I guess you could make these 180 and ones through one through six, 90. Um, but that's as far as it's gonna go before you start falling back down. Um, and I don't even know if that would work, to be honest, it might just explode. So uh, let's do that. I like to slow this down a little bit. I think it looks. I think it looks better. So <clears throat> let's jump back. Um, I think we'll see if I got it right. All right. So far, so good. That looks pretty good. So now <clears throat> I'm going to build the frame for the top. I like to build this out of I beams. Uh, let's get that. I'm gonna get the small segment because I'm pretty sure I need it. And then I like these guys for the top of it. Um, so let's get let's get on with the frame. So it's gonna sit to where there's one extra space off to the left there. And you'll see that tilt and go level. And that is perfect. That's exactly what I want. Same over here. Tilt, go level. Alright. And then over here, same thing. Isn't it a beautiful thing? So Let's see, can I just, uh, what I do is connect them to uh, their side. So what I'm going to do here, probably, <laughs> and I skipped it, build this straight. Oh, wait, you know what? I think this is the side that I need the small one to make it line up and look good at the same time. So let's do that, that, this, and then we'll do this guy, and like that. And here, perfect. And um, here I'll just do, it's unfortunate we can't connect them all together, but you can't, so rip. Let's do that, and then um, I'll attach that to that side. Perfect. So now, that whole thing is level, and I can drop it down, and then I can raise it back up. <clears throat> so for the moment, I'm gonna leave it dropped. And I'm going to put a second switch. My second switch is going to go there. <clears throat> I think. <laughs> I think that's going to do, is what I meant to say. So now let's put these in place. Um, did I get that on the edge? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. And this one to there. Perfect. Now we'll test it again, just to be sure. You're seeing this thing's quite heavy. Can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. Perfect. Look at it. Look at it go. Beautiful thing. Alright, and then I'm going to come up here, 
And I'm going to go ahead and put my rails on it. Um, I usually use like these or something for rails. And let's, uh, I don't remember how I had to like divvy this up. <clears throat> but they don't quite match the full length. Christ, I get every iteration besides the one I need. Uh, you see how it doesn't like either go on that bolt or on that bolt. It doesn't actually cover the whole span of this, which is kind of frustrating. Maybe I'll use something else. Maybe I'll use um, there's like a stair rail thing, isn't there? Stair rail casing. Stair, wait, what? Stair short railing. Let's let's try let's try that out, and I'll bring out the long railing just in case that turns out to be a better choice. So, how's that work? Do I need a post? I think I like this better though. Okay, so. Um, there's a post, isn't there? Staircase railing joint. That sounds promising. Let's try that out. Um, ba baluster? I don't think we need a baluster. Um, okay, we'll, we'll try this out. Let's see how it goes. So you just build it up? What do you do with this? Okay, um, let's see. There. Do you do that? Is that what you do? Put this in all four corners. Uh, let's try the long one. Okay, I see what we're gonna have to do here. All right, that's fine. That works for me because I need to make a gate that allows people on and off this thing. So fine. You know, for a moment, no. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's do this. Let's do that. Looks good. So let's. Bet, bet, um, bet. How's that look? Looks pretty snazzy, I think. Okay, <clears throat> let's put down our chair finally, and we're just gonna back that into the corner as far as we can, like that. Um, we can go ahead and wire this up too if we want. So I want. It's gonna control the engine. The engine is going to move. I'm gonna make it move all four because. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to try to make this all-wheel drive. Um, it's a little heavy for an electric motor, so all-wheel drive will be beneficial um, that way. And one more. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's good. Okay, perfect. And um, steering. Steering is kind of tricky because uh, it's hard to tell if you got it the right direction or not. And then you to here. What I'll usually do is just try it out and see if I got it right or not. So usually one of the wheels is wrong, so that's wrong. Um, I know that those two need to be... Are they both wrong? That looks... Okay, that's correct. I want right to be right and left to be left. Now back here, I want it inverse, I think. I think that's correct. Okay, now let's try it. Good. Yeah. Okay, that's how I want my wheels to turn. <laughs> Is motor trying? Oh, God, so slow. Okay, so now the great thing is I can just whoop and uh, work on it. So I want this motor to be a little bit stronger. Let's go up to like there. Maybe one more. We'll do one more. I'm a little scared of that though. And let's go ahead and connect our chair to that button too. So now let's try it out. Woo! <clears throat> Holland. Yeah. yeah. And now I can actually bloop, 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 bloop. So we're almost done, obviously. And see, now I can get out up here and uh, be able to work over the rails. But I want one more rail. And I want this one to open. So, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, how do I want to do this? Let me first lower this thing. So I can get off safely. Um, and let me think here. Uh, what do I want to do? Last time what I did was I just made it... Uh, I just made it, put a gate there that folded out and straight down. I think I want to do something a little more creative this time, but I'm not really sure what. Um, I think I know. Okay, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. It's dangerous. Um, mum, 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 mum. Let's start with a bearing. That's how, that's how everything begins. And let's go. Hmm. I don't think I want to use these for this. I don't know that they'll actually roll right. Maybe I'll use the gate that I used before. I used these to make this happen. 
Okay, that's right. Um, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about this for a second. Let's do like that. You know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. Ah, get off me. Oh, do I need another controller? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, fortunately, there's plenty of room to add controllers. Um, okay, so, but, and then I'm gonna do, ah, I put away my pipe, or my elbow that I love to use so much. So let's drop that in here. We'll go elbow to elbow to another one of these. I think this is going to work out nicely. Um, yes, you can. Don't tell me you can't connect to that. All right, well, looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and add another controller because um, it would appear that it doesn't want to let me put that there unless I'm already controlling it. So, um, and let's hook this to that bearing, and this to that bearing. I'm going to have another bearing. I don't know why I didn't feel like I put that on there. Bearing and gate thingy. See, now it works. Okay. How do I want this to go? I think upside down like that. And let's drag it down. Perfect. I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so <clears throat> now I want, uh, I want to connect that last bearing. So Okay, so that one's going to fold that way. That's right. Other way, please. Wait. No, that way. That's correct. And this one, I want to go that way. Okay. So let's try, like, <clears throat> I know the first one I need to have fold all the way out, so we're going to go, like, buck 20. And then uh, the other two, 90? I think that one's got to be 90. I think they both have to be 90, so we're going to try that first and just see how it goes. Come on. Okay, got it. <clears throat> now let's attach uh, this button to that controller. And we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, slick. Slick. I don't really care for the yellow. It kind of clashes. But that's pretty slick. Um, and see, that's the thing. It's not tall enough. It's not tall enough to span that. So, what I kind of gotta do. Um, first, let's, uh, let's go ahead and drag. Ah, I missed it. Drag. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make this first one even steeper. Because the thing's not long enough. If I can make it longer somehow. Thoughts are happening, sorry. So let's see, where does that fall? Does that land about right? Land about where we want it to? Um, my thought was this. Let's see if I can't. Ooh, road cones, that'll help. Uh, swap that. Okay, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Nice. I want it to be like that. That looks pretty slick. <clears throat> so now, going up. It's kind of slow to climb. Like you can't run up. Well, you can't run up it. Anyway, so now I got that, and then I can be driving and go like this and scooting about. And like I said, the thing's pretty heavy. Um, it's pretty top heavy because there's so much steel up here. What I would probably say you ought to do is, let me get down here, um, <clears throat> what I would probably do, let's close that, ooh, a little shaky there, that's okay, <coughs> pretend you didn't see it, maybe it's a different weights thing, I don't know, um, let's add some weight to the bottom of this, I probably need to put it back on a jack again, you won't wait on the bottom because this thing being so top heavy, uh, means that if you're, if you give it any speed, and then um, I'm losing my what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm gonna need steel, and I'm gonna need a jack. Okay. If you put any sort of weight, like if your weight, if you're too top heavy, and you put any sort of speed, is what I'm trying to say, on this thing, then um, I hate all the jacks in the friggin' way. It's so annoying. Um, then you can't uh, you can't take turns or anything while you're while you're in the lifted mode, because the damn thing will just fall right over. Um, so I'm gonna do this. this. So what I'm gonna do 
build up this outer area. Can I get all, oh, no, I don't want to. Okay. Um, we're just adding weight to the bottom of this thing and then we'll crank the engine so that it can uh, manage the weight. Or manage to drive with the weight, rather. Um, let's do and one and two. Okay, getting there. Yeah, that jack is obnoxious. I'll have to find a way to get underneath here without the jack in place. Maybe I can go ahead. Maybe I just need to do this. I'll just. Oh. I do this without actually building into the jack. What I'm doing is trying to give, give the jack something else to bite into. So, okay. Let's try it now. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want right now. Now I can fill in that gap. Let's turn that. There we go. <laughs> okay. I wonder what happens when I do that. I've never, oops. I've never tried this. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's load this and delete these. Christ, that friggin' slowed down my game flipping that thing. Uh, um, well. Oh yeah. I should probably have deleted those while the jack was in place. Let's. I'm gonna tone it. Ah, uh, Christ. Okay. Um, um, delete. That should be it. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, the other thing I was going to do is these guys. For added weight, but also added appeal. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's do that. And this. Let's keep adding on weight. Is that uneven? Hold on, I'll look at the other side. Click, 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 click. Oh, no, it's even. Just looked uneven. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Boom! <laughs> so now, we have this. Oh. Is it too low now? There's a little part of me that wants that to be too low. But it shouldn't be hitting. You know what? I'm going to leave it. And then I'm gonna get my chair. Um, <clears throat> I go like that. I can jack it up. Let's see how much slower we go. Not getting too bad. Look, these are, these sorts of things that you want them to be slow. You don't want to be speeding around the place on this. So that's that. Pretty decent little scissor jack. If uh, if you need more height, what you do is you come over here. That's close actually it's looking ugly and it's bothering me. And um, you just edit the one that's connected to all these. So let's say I want it to go up. Significantly higher. I'm gonna go 45. This is gonna be really tall. 45. All these have to be 45. Basically, one through six have to be the same. And uh, and seven through nine have to be double whatever one through six are. So 90, 90, <clears throat> 90. Got it. Now it's gonna go. Let's bring it back down. I want to drive this thing. Ah. Okay. There I go. <clears throat> yeah, I think that might be too too tall or something. I'm, something's not right there, but. Da -da 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 -da. And then you can drive around. And I'm not flipping, which is good. But anyway, that's it. That's how you make the scissor jack. Things pretty dope, if you ask me. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah, enjoy. Make one, and then use it to build your other projects. And. Uh, and yeah, awesome. Thanks. Take care.